My dear student, once upon a time on the 29th of September 1999, I met 23 future biomedical engineers at UCL. It's October 2016 and all of us are working on this project called Diffuse Optical Imaging. There's no easy way to explain the complexity of this device to you, but I will try my best. There are two ways to use this machine. Remember the tiny toys you used to get inside the Kinder Surprise egg that glowed in the dark? Well, that effect is called fluorescence, except now your organs glow exactly like that if we inject a fluorescent substance. And that's how we notice if something is wrong, and we are able to see that in multiple pictures on the computer. Or we can use a different method. Remember the red light your cat loves to chase? That is called a laser. Now, for diffuse optical imaging, we need laser pulses. These are introduced into the tissue under study. The laser pulses are attenuated by various tissue layers. Therefore, different tissues will have different color codes, but that will be analyzed by doctors, so don't worry understanding that process now. As you might be able to see in this video diary, those black cables transmit the results to your computer. As a result of this investigation technique, it makes it possible to get a glimpse of the working brain of babies like never before. Don't worry, it's a very safe procedure and they don't feel a thing. The technology opens a new window to the secrets of the human brain. Our main goal is to try and diagnose breast cancer in a very early stage so we can treat it afterwards. So I'm asking you, future engineers and scientists, make a change.